Yeah, I'm just telling the story about my dad. He was a well-known South Australian. Uh, Pope Industries, the white goods industry. And he had all the, the glory of money could bring. One stage, Pope products had, when they got into washing machines and fridges and stuff like that, they had 44% of the white goods market in Australia. And uh, all the other mates had Pope electric motors in them too. And uh, God brought him to those heights and then he took it all away. My dad had a Christian upbringing in the Cordon Church of Christ there. He was leader of them, mm. men's group and everything. But he fell away when he, when he got involved in industry employing people. Fell away very badly. And my parents divorced when I was nine year old and I've been through that pain and what it meant. But I had a lovely mother. And she was a glorious lady who was a great forgiver. And no matter what my dad did wrong, she'd forgive him. Anyway, it got that way. It was the Lord's timing to strip my dad down. No matter how old credit squeezed, he simply, everything financially went wrong, you could imagine. He didn't go through bankruptcy though, but he got stripped of everything. And uh, the time came when he was getting older in, in late 70s, and, and I heard that. I knew he'd been stripped down of nothing. I heard he didn't have a heart trouble and, and I should come on the, from Adelaide and catch the bus and come over and see him before he went. And, uh, and he told me, Brendan, he said, do you know I actually died for 20 minutes? Now that's a long time in our, our culture, isn't it? Mm -hmm. My heart stopped for 20 minutes. And there I was walking towards the pearly gates and do you know my deceased friends were coming up and greeting me? Frank Bowring and different ones on you. Oh, good day, Bart, how are you? And, uh, Brendan, I was actually there. And Brendan, it is a place. It is a place. And I can tell you, because I've been there. And, uh, he said I had someone come up and put his hand on the shoulder and said, do you want to go on through the pearly gates or do you want to go back? And I chose to go back. I've told one other person this story and you. I said, Dad, all my grandchildren will know about this. And uh, anyway, we had a great big hug. All Dad's sin, he fell away from sin. And now I know sin is not a barrier to God winning people. And uh, I had a most glorious time. I said, Dad, I know you've run amok. We've all been sinners. I forgive you. And I'm now going to remember you as my, my loving father. We had a great big hug. And he was in tears too. Mm -hmm. And within a fortnight he died on the Tullamarine Airport and he went back. Mm. And uh, that's a little episode. And he, that proud, arrogant man, he got a knighthood. Money could buy all sorts of things in those days. And uh, it was all left behind. Mm. And he was humbled. That dear old man I always wanted to know. And uh, all I know, he made the kingdom at the last moment. Mm. And uh, Jesus said the sinners and the tax collectors and the prostitutes will enter the kingdom first. So, all I know is the Old Testament, and I've got my grandchildren together, the, the whole of them, almost, and I told them that story. I said, It is a place. It is a place. And he said, I've only told one other person in you. I've never found out who the person was. So, there is a place. Dad's been there. There is a place. Amen. So there is a place in heaven. Yes. Jesus says, in my Father's house are many mansions. That's right. <laughs>